Okay guys, welcome to another tutorial by Sky by Tutorials for Skyrim, sorry. Now uh one thing to note before uh, I show you this uh is just look at the time down in the bottom right corner. Um and you can see it's twelve oh four PM. Now, you understand uh when I uh get into the game, but uh I'd just like to say today's tutorial is uh is creating an NPC that will move around its location. Alright, so uh, as I said, just remember that it's 12.04 p.m. This makes more sense once in game and then also once in the creation kit. So, let's head on in, see what's happened. Alright, so we can't see anything yet, but if we turn over to our right, we see uh, a little man over here. Now if we go over, we can yeah. see that his name's Earth Impressed. And, uh, sorry, I'll just uh, be quiet so you can hear what he's... Mm. Need something. So you can see he talks. Um, he he talks on uh, on call on request. Need something. Now uh, the reason I said to note that it was twelve o'clock is because if you notice he's actually eating. Now um. Need something. When uh, we head over to the creation kit, I'm going to show you how to actually make him eat uh, at certain times, how to do certain things, and that sort of thing. But there's Irk, which is a character we're going to create in this tutorial. Yes. So uh, let's head over into the creation kit and uh, see how we go. Okay, so I've got the creation kit open now and uh, as usual you're gonna want to open up your skyrim.esm data which I've already done. Now, first thing you're gonna want to do is hit new, of course you need to be in the actors panel which I am, ID, mine's gonna be YouTube Irk Imprust and uh, let's just make Irk start with the capital Y. Name Irk Improst and short name of Irk. Now you want to make your character unique which means that uh, there's only going to be one of them in the game at once. Now select any race you like. I'm going to change mine to Imperial Race. Chuck on Preview so you can see what you're doing. Rotate that around. Alright, and uh, I'm actually going to make Urk a little bit smaller than usual, so I'm going to change the height to point 8. And there we go. Okay, I'm changing my voice type to male Nord. Why not? Actually, why don't we make it a male old grumpy? Why not? Alright, head over to stats and uh, you can change these any way you like. I'm going to make Urk level 5. And now I'm heading uh, down to, the, I think it's the third last panel, which is character gen parts. I'm going to start here rather than in the inventory, which uh, you'd probably normally start with. Now, in case uh, you haven't seen this before, this is how you actually control everything. Now, rather than keeping the preview in full, because if I were to change anything now, um, for example, if I were to change the hair to that, nothing's going to happen because uh, you need to click the preview full to update it. However, if I change the preview over to the head, I don't need to keep clicking to update it. It will automatically update. Now, this is great because you can do, um, for example, you can click the first one, then use your arrow keys to flick through um, a lot quicker than normally and uh, when you find something you like I might go with you know seeing as we have the uh, old grumpy um, voice I'm going to change it to that and uh, there's uh, a few things you can do in terms of um, colouring and that sort of thing and uh, to start with I'm going to hit uh, let's start with the nose now, for example, what you can do is um, you can change just the color of his nose. So if we were to make it black, you can see it's a lot darker there. And uh, this interpolation, I believe it's pronounced, uh, value, that's, gonna, that's pretty much your opacity. If uh, you've used Photoshop or GIMP or any other um, sort of photo editing thing, that's going to show um, how much is going to come through. Obviously, zero is not going to show anything. And uh, uh, 50 is going to be half of uh, what it normally would be. You can also change the color to something that you like. So you can give him sort of a 
dark, uh, darkish blue um, coloured nose. I don't know why you'd want to do that, um, but you might. And uh, head back to colour average, and uh, that's going to change him back to normal. I'm going to change the skin tone though, um, make him a little bit paler. Let's go something like that. That's nice. That'll do. All right. Uh, you can change all sort of things. You can change. Um, you can give him a beard. Um, and I'm just using the scroll uh, rather than the mouse now to change that. Let's give him something like that. That's dirty. Um, you know, we are making an old dirty man, which, why not? And um, everything else, I'm going to leave the same. Um, I can change the hair colour here to grey, make him look even older, which is, you know, what we want. And uh, that'll do for now for the head. The other thing you can do is go into Gen Morphs, and uh, I don't often use this, but this is like um, when you uh, first create your characters, when you go into the custom things, um, you can change all sorts of things here. You can make, um, you know, do all those things that you can normally do in the game, um, in the custom panels, and, uh, you know, I'm just going to give him, yeah, a bit of a stubborn nose, and... Um, you know, you can play uh, for hours with this, but uh, for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to keep it short and not play um, around too much. What I might do, though, is um, just change his eyes to show you... Actually, I might go through all these and show you the um, the different things you can do. So let's start with the face. Now, um, I'm not sure why, but uh, this might be with yours or it might be with mine and it might have glitched when I installed it, but for some reason I can set a face like that and... Uh, don't know why anyone would, but, you know, I'm sure maybe someone might. And uh, in the eyes, there's a whole range of eyes. I'm going to chuck mine to brown bloodshot, just um, to make him look a bit dirtier. But there's uh, sort of things like he can have a light blue eye yeah, with, his, um, with his right eye blind. And uh, there's uh, obviously a similar effect. Um, there's heaps of different things you can play with, and uh, yeah, let's do that. Why not? Just make it a bit freaky. And um, now, uh, the other thing, I've showed you facial hair. As you can see to the side, if you've changed something from the default. So, eyes, um, doesn't have in brackets on the right, DEF, which obviously symbolises default. And uh, so we're... We've got uh, all these sort of settings you can play with as well. I'm just going to keep them default for the purpose of this tutorial. Alright, I'm going to head over to the inventory now, which is just here. Preview full for now. Default outfit. Uh, what will we have? Let's have something. Yeah, that'll do. Make him look, um, you know, uh, sort of intelligent. Um... There's all sort of, it's all different sort of things you can change. You can chuck on a, some band, bandit outfit, which um, uh, can look good. You can also chuck on beggar, which might work well for this bloke, uh, make him look a little bit dirtier. Now I haven't actually ever tried this, but uh, let's see. Okay, so there's nothing you can actually do with that. I thought maybe you could. Um, let's chuck something in his inventory, and. Uh, Let's chuck uh, some ale, and uh, let's give him five ale in there, and that's value of 25, as you can see over to the right here. All right, what else? We might uh, we might give him a weapon weapon of some kind. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's give him a. No, he wouldn't have a glass sword. Let's give him a steel sword, a uh, steel dagger. And uh, we refresh, you can see it's down in uh, his left leg there. So there we go. And uh, I think that's almost it for, uh, for in terms of designing him and that sort of thing. You can change uh, all sorts of things, um, which, uh, you know, those things I'll let you explore in the traits. Um, you can change uh, the skin, which um, sort of is a strange one. Uh, I don't know uh, why some things happen, but he's had his hands removed for some reason. 
Um, yeah, there's all sort of uh, things you can change. So, you know, just flick on through, see what you come up with. AI data, this is where you can change your aggression. Let's make him aggressive. And uh, he's a bit cautious uh, because, uh, you know, he's a dirty man with demon eyes. Why wouldn't you be cautious? And uh, assistance, we're not going to have him help anyone. Let's make him uh, angry most of the time. And he's happy to... Uh, uh, to, uh, to do any crimes. Now, we're going to head over to AI Packages. This is uh, what the tutorial is basically based around. Now, how long do I have left? Uh, not too long. Um, about uh, five, five minutes or so. So, we're going to right click, hit uh, not new, we're going to hit add. And uh, in our filter, we're going to head to default sandbox. Now, in case you're unsure about what this means, a sandbox is essentially uh, a whole wide range of things. Rather than us chucking um, chucking Urk into uh, into say the bannered mare and him just staying next to the door for the whole time, what the sandbox is going to allow him to do is uh, with a specific area, which is these numbers over to the right of some of these. What it's going to mean is that he, he's going to sandbox around, so he's going to just move around and do um, do a variety of things without leaving the area. So, we're going to hit Default Sandbox Location 512. Now, I'm not too sure um, what that is. Obviously, 256 is smaller than uh, 512. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's go Current Location uh, 1024. So what that means is that he's going to sandbox around his current location, wherever that may be. In our case, it will be the Bannered Mare. And an area uh, or a radius of uh, 1,024 um, and uh, whatever, whatever that actually is. So we're going to select that, hit OK. Now let's right click and go edit and see what sort of things there are here. Um, conditions is the um, is where, uh, for example, um, you could have it so that uh, the player would have to do something before he would sandbox, etc. Um, you know, you can see all these sort of things. You can take off random conversations so he won't talk to anyone. Uh, like, for example, when you stand next to someone and they start talking, that's what random conversations is. Um, you know, there's all sorts of things. You can change the preferred speed so that he's a fast walker. So let's do that. You can have it so that his weapon's often drawn. He's wearing the sleep outfit. These are just a, a few examples. Um, so uh, that's all the different things you can do. You can change what time it is. Now, these are all set to none because what that means is that he's always going to be sandboxing. Um, and so we can see here... Um, He's got all these things he's, he can do in this area. So, um, ride horse if possible. So, if he was outside, you could have that set to true. Um, change uh, all sorts of things. So, allow sitting. So, that'll mean um, if there's somewhere he can sit down, he's allowed to sit down. So, the radius is 1024. Uh, I'm not sure what that's actually measured in, but, uh, you know, I'm sure we'll figure it out sometime. So, hit OK on that. The other thing we're going to add is a eating uh, eating um, package. So uh, what you can see here is default eat editor, and uh, you can change all these sort of things. So what this means is that uh, in his location, he's going to eat for uh, sorry for one hour, the times one at 1700 hours. So what's that? That's five o'clock. You can have it six o'clock. Let's make him eat at 6 at night, and also, uh, let's have default eat, and let's have him at 6, and we'll add one more for lunchtime. And 12 times 1. Now, um, sometimes if you were to do the eat one before you did the sandbox, so for example, let's actually delete that, 
add uh, default sandbox. So let's say you've added in your eight already. Now you want to go to default sandbox and that's going to put it to the top. Now you can't have this because whatever's on top is going to overwrite. So you need to have that down the bottom. So uh, what was set up with sandbox at top would mean that um, he's set to eat, but sandbox will uh, override everything. Um, but now what we've set is that he's uh, always going to be sandboxing unless He's eating, which is at 1800, 6 and 12 for one hour, for example. Um, but if they were below, that would mean that he's always um, he's always doing this thing uh, at that time. However, Sandbox, because it's on top, overrides that. So um, hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. Let's see. Um, sorry, I've gone to edit. I don't want to edit that. Um, let's edit one of these and uh, have a look at... Um, the schedule so um, here we can see uh, everything set so let's change it so that he's eating at 8.35 why not and you can change it so that he's only eating Mondays, Tuesdays etc it's all pretty self explanatory um, you can change these like we did and uh, we're going to hit OK on that don't worry too much let's see what else is available in the default region. Let's see if we can make him drink. No? Okay. Um, there's default sleep so that he'll sleep uh, wherever he is. But we're not going to do that because we're going to have him in a public location rather than um, rather than like his own house. So I haven't actually tried the sleep one. However, what could happen is that if he were to sleep in, uh, in a public location then because he hasn't paid um, that might uh, actually affect him so um, that's all good and well so hit OK and uh, let's just let this load now we're almost done um, but we need to now we're almost done the last thing we have to do is actually put him into somewhere because otherwise he doesn't exist so uh, hit up uh, into your filter depending on what you've put your ID mine starts with YouTube so we can see YouTube uh, impressed and uh, interiors let's chuck him into the white run bannered mare so just find that double click let it open up in the render window and it may take a little bit of time depending on your computer RAM etc all right now I'm gonna just hit M to take off markers you can see um, this is the bannered mare with obviously no action happening and uh, let's drag Urk in now he should automatically go to the floor if we bring uh, Urk over you can compare the size you can see how much smaller he actually is than the normal human being chuck him over doesn't matter where you put him because he's set to sandbox so he's going to move around uh, sorry and he's got um, the eating packages etc so he's going to actually do things so let's save our urk to urk interest save that and you're done head over into the game see if your your uh, actors work see if he moves around and uh, you know, have have a bit of fun with it. Play with your AI packages. Um, change change a few things if you'd like. Um, you know how to do that. If you need anything, comment below, and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Please subscribe as it helps me out, and and uh, it, it basically tells me that there are people watching, which is good to know. And uh, stay tuned. Um, videos don't have a specific time when they're uploaded, but. Um, you know, there should be at least one every two weeks, if not earlier. So stay tuned, guys, and uh, send me messages, comments, whatever you need. And uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.